once again back on the beach at Clifton this was rather an unplanned sort of a trip in two days time my wife and I are going to China for four months well oh sorry today's Monday we're flying out on Thursday but we woke up quite early this morning and the sun was shining although it certainly wasn't terribly warm it was five degrees when we jumped in the car made their way here to Clifton arrived on the beach we're here it's nine degrees it wasn't a frost but it was certainly a lovely morning hence Robin's got an extra layer of or Hatcher's got an extra layer of clothing on this won't be on for long I might add as you can see the sun is shining brightly it's a glorious morning and we're just hoping to have a little bit of luck before we fly out but we'll actually be away for four months so this will be the last video for quite some time that is assuming I find anything worth putting on YouTube anyway the rods are out one is baited with a running trace with an anchovy the other one is baited with same anchovy but I've got a uh, pulley panel rig on there everybody keeps raving about a pulley panel rig I have to be honest and say it doesn't really make a lot of difference to me simplicity normally works out as best but I thought I'd just put one rod out and give it a try since I made my last video where I reported I'd bought an Akios score of 100 reel things have improved slightly I haven't been fishing since then but I was so taken with that reel and so taken with the suffix line I actually went out and bought myself another one of those reels so now I'm with two rods which I'm quite happy with two reels, new, let, new sets of new line on the reels so I now have my fingers crossed that the fish are going to go off to operate that's the very first cast I've only been out there for two or three minutes and I thought I'd get into the intro of the video and let's just see what happens and we'll take it from here so hopefully I'll catch you soon but I've had three takes two on this rod, one on that rod and they're just hitting the bait and going away well, they're just small dogfish but, uh, the person who's operating the camera kind of likes those for her, for her dinner so uh, we might put the glass off in the bucket we haven't flanked and we've quizzed, quizzed our Akios reel oh well, lovely day for it Very big fish, but it certainly gave a good fun. It might be another one of those small doggies. That's an 
heel. anglers I have foul hooked my fair share of fish but I can say quite truthfully that's the first time I've ever foul hooked one up the bum <laughs> look at that he's hooked foul hooked straight up the rear end well I've never seen that before well, I'll give the, I'm not going to bother to unhook that I know the fishing's been bad at times, but that's ridiculous. But I picked this... I picked this tip up off of an English website. I make no claims to it. We get something in New Zealand called a noodle. It's about this long. They are a swimming aid made of really... Not, this thing's determined to go back to sea. A swimming aid and my wife learning to swim I actually bought her one but it was too long for her so I've chopped off a few segments six inches long and they are ideal for tying traces and keeping them neatly in your box I've got three in there one with panel rigs one with straightforward running traces if I come up a bit closer to the camera so I just take out the large hook, don't come too close, take out the large hook, take out the small hook, just unwind it, pull on there, and out pops the, the Gemini clip to attach it to the rig, run it through my fingers, and there you go, you've got a nice straight rig. Easy to carry, absolutely no weight in them whatsoever, and as you can see on there, there's about eight or ten traces on there, perfectly. So it's a really good tip but I make no claims to it. To be quite truthful it was picked up off of an English website. Totally awesome fishing. A site which I thoroughly enjoy because the guy doesn't use flash gear. Graham Pullen just uses ordinary fishing gear although he does use an Akios reel. But I pick up some damn useful tips off of his site and I'm happy to give him full credit for it. He suggested a rubber tubing, I've upgraded it to this foam tubing. But you can see it really is a brilliant way of carrying your gear. At the end of the day, just reverse the procedure, slide the Gemini clip in there so it's locked into place. One, two, three. Take the hook out your finger, that's not so good. Put the small hook in. Then put the larger one in there, pop it in your box and it's all ready for the next time you go fishing. Nothing could be easier. But as it happens, that eel's ruined that tray, so I'm going to take one out and rebait up. So there you are. Thank you, Graham. You're a gentleman. Brilliant idea. Now, if you look in my box, you can see I've actually got three of them. This one is all for fully rigs. Um, everything is tied up in there. All I need to do is slide out one of the. I use a break. Uh, I use one of these clips um, to hold the hook in place, <coughs> which is a release clip. That's the weight goes on there. Wind it round. There's two hooks on there. The full pulley rig. No problems whatsoever. No tangles whatsoever. There. You are in my bag with all the rest of the rubbish what could be simpler well my wife gave you a peek inside my tackle box of course they were only made up rigs this is a quick view of what I generally carry with me as a, a large selection of hooks several different size weights in this front compartment there are sunblock essential in New Zealand. Underneath there there's a selection of breakaway leads. 
another selection of you know a good selection of hooks I think that's essential you must carry a lot of hooks with you to different sizes some beads and bling although I don't use that too often fully rigs and sliders so there you are that's a, oh and don't forget bait elastic of course it simply clamps down let's just pan out that clamps down the box opens up and then that just sits in the top nothing could be easier so there you are, that's it strap on there, slip it over my shoulder and away I go my wife's so small I can put her in there as well but um Anyway, just in case there is no more filming to be had, I'll say thank you to everyone that has supported the videos I've put on YouTube. I have really enjoyed making them and it's lovely to have my wife behind the camera, someone I can rely on. I have special thanks for one person, Billy, who lives in Shoreham, a member of the World Fishing website. He has been so encouraging uh, to me to, to show what it's like here in New Zealand and it's been a joy to do so. I think I've been relatively lucky, most of the videos I've actually landed fish, even if they're only small ones, they're still fish, that's what we come for. I think I've only really had one blank, um, so we're not going to do that today. So all in all, thank you to everyone that, that just watches them and I know we've had hundreds and hundreds of people watch these videos which is quite amazing for just two little an old fella like me and my young wife in the back lots of New Zealand just filming a bit of fishing so thanks to all of you after our holiday you can bet your life I'll be getting back into it I think the rays have virtually migrated now perhaps the water's a little bit too cold for them um, but you can bet your life there'll be one person on this beach, two rods, waiting for their return. Because with all the fishing I do, it's lovely to catch a two or three pound fish, which you're going to have for tea. Nobody enjoys eating fish more than me. But for all the joy that gives you to take a fish home, nothing equates to hitting a big ray on a light rod with light gear and taking 20 to 30 minutes to get it to the beach. I don't care whether we put it back or if it's an eagle ray we take the wings off and eat them. I'm not worried. The name of the game is fishing and I love every minute of it. And to catch those big fish for me is what fishing is all about. So if we don't do anything more today I'll catch up with you later. About four months time. So from my wife, Juan, and myself, thanks very much. Bye.